from my right side um, and I was cornered from in front of me with Mr. Zeminski and there were <laughs> there were three people right there That's what I run. That's what I run. We're going to just take it. Time for our break anyway. You, you can. Welcome, welcome everybody to the quick 10 check-in. Um, right away, I just want to talk about Kyle Rittenhouse. I, I can't even believe this guy. The judge is on his side. The, the judge is 100% on his side. And unfortunately, I don't see Kyle getting any jail time. Um, of course, there is going to be uproar if he does not get jail time. But I don't see him getting more than three to five years. Like I don't at all. And I'm actually in, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm actually in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He was in Kenosha, Wisconsin, which isn't maybe more than two hours from here. They drove from Kenosha to Illinois, which is about three hours. Hold on, I actually took the calculations. I have the correct calculations here. Three hours and 18 minutes on the highway, three hours and 38 minutes on the street. That's Illinois to Chicago. So you're trying to tell me that you took your child four hours away and just dropped them off and didn't want to like check with the parents and see what was going on. But oh, uh, can you take me to can you take me to uh, Sally Mae's house um, in, in Illinois? And, and there's no way that even the mother can say that she didn't know that this was happening because this was literally on the news. This was literally something that was planned to happen like this was not something that you know just randomly happened this was something that was planned to happen much like all of the other riots and things of that nature the, the kid was walking around the, the 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 firearm that he was using was not even legal first of all i just want to say if this man was black he would have been shot at the protest there would be no trial there would be no no crying like a little bitch there would be none of that shit. Like he would have been dead if he was if he was black. And I I don't want to make this about race, but if he was black, he would have died. He would have 100% been killed already. However, speaking of race, he was shown holding up the white power symbol, and I didn't even know that this was a real thing. Um, but he was showing up the white power symbol, showed it up to the police and everything. Donald Trump Jr. has came out and basically said that this case is a travesty and um donald trump jr has his full support and all of this like like donald trump jr is basically just saying he has his full support and that the the case is a travesty you know it shouldn't be going down this way and then just yesterday the judge's phone goes off in the trial and it's trump's ringtone the court makes a finding that uh the actions that i had talked about were done in bad faith then i think like this dude is not going to jail the judge is making asian food jokes um and of course donald trump was calling the coronavirus the kung flu the asian virus so like this judge is a hundred percent on his side the fact that this man sat here crying and weeping and blah 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 after he literally shot off people's arms shot off their legs and now he's in the court crying with no tears coming down his face whatsoever with no fucking tears coming down his face the judge orders a recess after he looks at the judge like help me 
I'm crying. And you know, I feel like the phone ringing was almost Trump calling to see if like everything was going as planned. The judge legitimately said out of his own mouth, and I quote, people that were killed at the Black Lives Matter movement must only be called rioters or looters, but victim is not allowed per the judge. Per the judge said that. There's no way that you think this man is getting some type of significant time. He's walking around with a gun that's bigger than an AK-47 calling himself a medic. He was calling himself a medic. He's holding up pictures with the, the white power symbol and I didn't even know what this thing was. I thought it was something that was just kind of new and something that kind of just came about. But apparently this white power symbol is something that's been around for many, many generations. He's been walking around with, the, well, he was walking around with the shirt saying free as fuck with the AK-47. He flashed the white power symbol at the actual police. So, like, there's no way that, the, there, there's, I would honestly be shocked if he got more than three to five years. He is 100% guilty. He 100% needs to go to jail. He can do his crocodile boohoo tears to someone fucking else. Nobody cares. But the judge, I really feel like the judge is on his side. I really don't feel like he's getting any time. I, I, I truly don't. And there's also people on Twitter that have Kyle Rittenhouse is innocent. That is an actual hashtag on Twitter. Like we are actually doomed as a community. If you think that a minor that drove four hours across state lines and was dropped off by his parent. Why the fuck is she not in the trial? And people are saying, oh, she didn't do anything wrong. She didn't do anything wrong. You took a minor four hours away, and I guess the kid was dropped off at his friend's house and picked the gun up from his friend's house. But you're just taking your kid to random people's houses with guns that you don't really know of that have guns? Like, I've had a friend that lived in West Bend, and West Bend is only 30 minutes from uh, where I am in, in Milwaukee. It's only like 30, 40 minutes away. My mom had to meet their dad, their, their fucking mom, their mom's boyfriend, and they had contact numbers for everybody. So you're telling me that you just dropped your kid off four hours away with no contacts, no information of what was going on, and you knew that there was a Black Lives Matter protest going on because again, this was not something that just happened last minute or that was just randomly planned. This was something that was planned and, and everybody knew was taking place. So the fact that she drove him there, she's just as guilty because she knew exactly what was taking place. I'll definitely be here to give an update on the verdict because this is just absolute madness. Um, I'm really hoping they give this guy more than three to five years, but I honestly don't see it. They're probably going to give his bitch ass probation. That's all I have for you here on the Quick 10 Check-In.